I was going through my room and as the years pass up, we may collect things that we don't really use anymore. At one point of time, I used to use this duffel bag often, I would say, but for some years now, I have not really used it. I was thinking about saving it, maybe giving it to a person by next year or something like that. I am going to give it to a store, you know, one of the stores that that accept donations for clothes and stuff like that. And I have been looking around more and more. Um, I have some computer speakers that I did not use for maybe, how long has it been? Like three years, four years, three? And I was thinking, you know, I paid so much for them, I might as well keep them, but if you are not really using them, why not give them away? Why not donate them or something like that? And you may say, if you give it to a store, they are going to sell it and make money. So what? Aren't we going to reap what we sow? Like, everything we give out in one form or another won't we receive back in some type of way? What use is it to you sitting in your room, sitting in your house, just, I guess, collecting dust or give it out like i think i paid maybe for those computer speakers maybe three to five hundred but i have been i have been having it for years though probably since 2012 11 i don't know but i don't really use it now like we can't really some people may say that they bought something with their hard-earned money, and I understand that. But if you aren't really using it, why not give it away for free or something, right? We can't be so attached to some things. We can't really be so attached to some things. I gave away something and I am telling you this not to brag, not to, um, not to receive any pats on the back. I had uh, two external hard drives and I was thinking I was going to sell these things but something in my mind came to me give them away for free and i think i thought about it and thought about it and i believe i thought too if it if it continues to come to my mind perhaps there is a purpose for me to give these things away for free, even though I probably could get 80 or more dollars each for, for each of them, maybe, if I would have sold them. But I gave them away for free because I have not used them. I think one of them I did not use at all, or did I? Then another one, it has been years since I really used it. So why even keep it? 
give them away donate them give them away for free stop like why have a closet full of stuff and you are probably using 30 percent of it give them out i believe there are people or there may be people who need a dress need a a lamp or a dvd player or some shoes or whatever else like that give them away for free find someone if you know anyone and give them out maybe it was one or two years ago there was a person i would take to work and i noticed it was like he would not have a coat on I think he would have like a hoodie or a sweater on. And yeah, I noticed he was not wearing a coat or jacket or something. So I thought, or maybe I went to my room. I think I thought about it. I like, I have a jacket that I don't wear. Let me give that jacket to him three brand new probably i could not wear it maybe uh, i think i could have wore it sometimes i buy stuff and <laughs> not really use it which it doesn't happen too often these days now <laughs> so i gave him that jacket and I believe that was a very good thing. It was thin. I'm not sure if it did much good, but hey, I gave it away. Not telling you these things to make it seem like I am so good or whatever else like that. I want you to know that I try to lead by example. Like, why have your room cluttered or your house cluttered, wondering where you are going to put everything? Why? Makes no sense. You may think to yourself, well, I am saving this. Yes, I have not used it for 10 years, but maybe on the 12th year, I am going to use it. Give that thing away. Stop playing. I know you may have worked very hard for that item, but give it away. Stop playing. Let me stop here. God bless you.